I am Leo Laporte, the tech guy. And uh, we have many calls today. Wow. It's a good call day today. Uh, starting with Adriana in Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. Hey, hello, Adriana. Hey, what's up, Leo? How are you? I'm great. Thanks for calling. Oh, thanks for taking my call. God, I hate when people say that, and I just did. <laughs> you know, it's very—it's hard not to, isn't it? We 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 it coach is. we coach people. We say, "Don't ask how Leo's doing." Blah blah blah, and it, it's you know, it's just automatic. So I don't mind. That's fine. Actually, the first one I did on purpose about how are you? Because how many times a day do you say, "Oh, good, how are you?" I'm great. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Still fine. You remember Michael Savage? I love the, what I. You know what I love what Michael Savage does. He he'll he'll hang up on you. He hang up on? Oh my god, he was horrible. It was just good. <laughs> well, I. You know what? He is such an entertainer. I used to work with him, and uh, the at KSFO in San Francisco when he was first starting out, and yep. uh, and the man is certifiable. But he is an entertainer. I. You know, he's just hysterical. Character. Yeah, he's a character. But you know, I agreed with almost everything he said. Really, though. You know, it's funny because he's gone so far right, he's almost left. Yeah, I'm he's, a libertarian, but yeah. He's, he's kind of gone around in a circle at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you, oh, gosh. It's not about, with Michael, it's not about politics. It's entertainment. It is. It is yeah, well, sometimes. Sometimes it's just um, headed for a nervous breakdown. It gets me riled up. So I stay away from it with I, other people. You know, it's funny because my wife, who is the most staunch liberal in the world, I mean, uh -huh. she's the definition of bleeding heart liberal, loves Michael Savage and listens to him regularly. Huh. And I say, well, honey, how could, doesn't that bother you? She says, no, he's a hoot. <laughs> I think your wife sounds cool then. <laughs> she's very cool. Let me tell you. Very open-minded woman. Absolutely. I was just going to say that. Awesome. <laughs> so what can I do for you? Yes, I um, I uh, just now have been, you know, really into the app, the whole app thing. Okay? Oh, man, you and everybody else. This is the uh, hottest thing ever to hit the computing. Well, I guess, I guess. So I, I, you know, came up with what I think is like the coolest thing ever. It's, I, and I just wanted your opinion and to kind of pick your brain to see um, – if you think it would go, and, and I just really do. I think there's a, a big uh, market out there for it. So well, I, here I'll, it is. I'll, t I'll tell you, I'm sitting, Ian is in here, he's in the studio. He makes his career de designing and building uh, apps for Android and iPhone. So he is going to be our judge. Of, I can't, he's going to judge your iPhone app. Oh, well, cool. Let's, right hear, let's hear it. So this is it, your big pitch. You know, this is a big thing right now. In the, the uh, venture capital circles, they have these kind of events where an entrepreneur comes on and, he, you know, you've got two minutes to pitch your great idea to a bunch of venture capitalists. And if you do it well, they'll write you a check. Now, I'm not going to write you a check, but here's your two minutes to pitch your story here. Okay. okay. Well, you, say, you say go. <laughs> All right. In three, two, one, go. All right. I have an application I want to do that's going to be a... Oh, a different world, a different life for that uh, kind of frumpy, bored uh, housewife in the Midwest. Um, I am in uh, uh, the entertainment industry. Uh, I'm a dancer. And uh, I also um, and I do other things within that industry as well. Um, it's kind of hard to have to tame it down a little bit. Uh, are, you, are you an adult performer? Yes, I am. <laughs> My yeah. goodness. So you, your idea, let me think, is this what you're saying? Your idea is to let the, the housewife live as if she's an adult entertainer. Yes, and listen, get this. She's going to be able to do, um, any, I mean, anything's possible. Like I was telling um, Gina, um, she's going to be able to do have you? Let me ask you, have you ever heard of Second Life, Adriana? No. Oh, you know, wait, wait a second. Is that... I want to know not know the name. It's, 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 people, like, get there and like get all absorbed in it and like have divorces. Yeah, people get divorced because you were having an affair in Second Life. Second Life is a uh, virtual world in which you have a persona. My character is named Pruneface Spatula. Don't blame me. I don't know what happened. I just lost my head. But in any event, in in this world. Uh, you can create your own persona, and you know you could. If you're a guy, you can be a gal. If you're a gal, you can be a guy. Uh, you can even buy. Get this, you can buy bodies. Uh, you know, originally started as you could buy clothing, but it, somebody quickly figured out that clothing could be a sexy body. 
Well, you you are cut into my two minutes, Mister. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Teasing. You're full, you're full. <laughs> I'm so I'm scared now. Sorry, go right ahead, Adriana. Yes. Oh God, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be able to uh, either be a house, you know, maybe a dancer there, or be a feature, travel, um, do uh, illegal substances, get busted for it. However, uh, you know, obviously they can't stay in jail forever. So I'm going to have a, a certain maximum time limit, you know. So this is kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto for hookers. I don't, I've never, this is new to me. I'm not, I am not basing this off of anything. I have no apps myself. I am, I haven't ever even seen like one or been on one. So I Ian, just, Ian, you've been listening to this. This is, this, you know, there are apps like uh, there's Mob Wars. There's apps where you could be a mobster. Uh, uh, um, I think this is interesting. It would be kind of like stripper wars. You could be a, a stripper. Yeah. Intimate partnerships with Intimate whoever. Intimate partnerships with strangers. And then Whatever you collect you money. and But see, I think you hit something on the nail on the head, Adriana, because games, really? whether the, yeah, well, games, whether they're on the desktop computer or on the smartphone, whatever, they are about living a different life uh, and, and escapism, right? And there may be somebody who says, you know, I'd like to be a little more wild. Hey, don't you think there's a little bit of, of, uh, of a performer in every kind of frumpy housewife? Don't you think she wants to be a hot, sexy babe who, who have guys ogling her? Come on. Uh, well, there, I mean, absolutely. Uh, isn't it true now that many uh, clubs, they have uh, pole dancing uh, exercise uh, things and, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah uh, don't you think they want to maybe go Charlie Sheen on, on someday? <laughs> <laughs> no. Adriana, yeah, you're you're great. You're wild. I, I tell you, the next time you're in town, I want you to come by and we can do a whole thing on this. Dude, I totally want to party with with, um, with Nori and Tommy and Gina and Ian and, and you and I, everybody. I talked to you. The only one I haven't talked to yet. I, I have. I tried Ian. I talked to Gina last night. <laughs> All right. Well, you you're you're set. We we're we're gonna work on this. What will we call this uh, this app? Uh, you know. I, you know, okay. I you want me just to say the name? I mean, it can't well, be I don't know. We can we can bloop it, I guess. Go ahead. We'll we'll beep it if it's inappropriate. Strip City. Strip City. That's not That's inappropriate. Nice. Uh, uh, Luis seems to like it an awful lot. <laughs> Luis, Luis, uh, the board up over here. He's, he's. I think Adriana, you've got you've got him. You've got his mind going here. <laughs> You know, it's funny because I, I believe you, Adriana, that you don't know about it, but the, there are quite a few games that are like this. Grand Theft Auto, in fact, is very, very controversial, lets you be essentially be a mobster and carjack things. And, in fact, you do run up against ladies of the evening in this. And, in fact, uh, I think you score points by, uh, by ripping them off, as a matter of fact. So maybe it's time we get the other side of the, uh, of the equation. And then there are many, many iPhone games that let you... Uh, Mob wars. They started with drug wars, uh, where where uh, you'd be a drug dealer. It sounds like a it sounds like a lot of fun. I think Adriana, you'd be you'd be very successful. Now, one thing I gotta warn you. One thing I gotta warn you, Adriana, is that Steve Jobs doesn't like anything adult on his iPhone. So I I think you're gonna make, Steve Jobs, the guy who owns Apple. So I think you're gonna make this for Android, not for the iPhone. Is that okay? Yeah. Fine, because you know Gina is, is Gina right there. Because I just was asking her about the new Droid. I want to get it, and she said her friend just bought it. Like you'll you know, like it. You'll like it a lot, Adriana. Adriana, do you have a website? Dare I ask? Uh, you know, I did, and this is going to be weird. My web guy died. Oh His dear. name was Dennis. Yeah, and I haven't. I just haven't. I've been so busy that I haven't like revamp. I wanted to revamp it, but um. Well, you're a character. Uh, I've enjoyed. We're running out of time. I've enjoyed talking to you. I wish you the best. Let me know if Strip City ever hits the uh, Android marketplace. I'll buy it. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Great call. Do you think we can use it? Absolutely. Yeah. You don't think that's too risque? Oh, no, Leo. <laughs> <laughs>